Honorable judges and respected audience, my name is Ayan. My name is Kondula. My name is Manny. My name is Mustafa Fazi. And, and we are Team Noor. Raise your hand if you want to prevent your personal mental illness and prevent them from committing suicide or an act of violence. That's good to see. <laughs> mental illness is a condition that affects a person's thinking ability, feelings, or mood. There are currently more than 200 types of mental illnesses. Some of the more common ones are depression, anxiety, bipolar disorder, and schizophrenia. According to the WHO, more than 450 million people suffer from mental problems around the globe. Close to a million people commit suicide due to mental illnesses, and one mental illness on the rise is depression. If it continues to rise at its current pace, by soon as 2020, it will be the second most prevalent medical condition in the world. Not to mention, it's already the second leading cause of death among 15 to 29 year olds. Mental illnesses also add a tremendous burden to the world economy. Approximately $2.5 trillion, and this is expected to surpass $6 trillion by 2030. Mental illnesses affect people on a daily basis, and there isn't a bona fide way to predict or prevent these illnesses until nowadays. Introducing AR, Objection Redirection. AR is designed specifically to predict and prevent depression. It consists of three main components, the sweat analysis system, the peer-to-peer -peer feedback system, and the interactive map. This one analysis system includes a wristband, which consists of an array of sensors, which will scan the sweat for three specific hormones, dopamine, serotonin, and oxytocin. When the sensors come in contact with the sweat, they generate electrical signals, which will be amplified and filtered. These readings are then calibrated using the body temperature and the values of the hormone levels will be sent over to the hormone level database and stored under the person profile. <coughs> the peer-to-peer -peer feedback system provides a platform for peers and friends to provide feedback on the behavior of the person that they interact with. How they do this exactly? Let's take a look. This is Jack. His friend wants to hang out with him, but Jack doesn't want to. He's too depressed. After an interaction with Jack, his friend uses the AR app. There, he'll select for a list of moves that best use Jack's behavior and mood, and will provide other feedback. And this data will be written into the feedback database and stored under Jack's profile. The interactive app is another important component of AR. Let's take a look at how it works. The hormone level data and the feedback data will be drawn from the databases to be processed and correlated by the app. If these values are consistently low for more than two weeks, then the app will trigger an alert to notify Jack's friends that Jack is exhibiting signs of possible depression. And when the app detects that Jack's hormone levels are lower than normal value, then it will provide suggestions to increase these le levels, like eat chocolate, watch a movie, or get some exercise. <laughs> And all of these will be based on his location, interest, and time. These are the AR charts showing Jack's normal levels. As we can see, Jack's normal levels were low throughout the day, except between 5 to 8 p.m. When he followed the AR recovery tip to eat chocolate. And as a result, his hormone levels increased and his mood improved. Like this, like this, over time, Jack makes lifestyle changes based on his AR smart suggestions. And now, his hormone levels have normalized to a steady rate, and his peer review is shown to be much more positive. And now Jack's beginning a happy life. Jack, would you like to talk about how AR has benefited you? Yeah, sure. <laughs> AR has been very beneficial to me. The treatments I received earlier were reactive, but the AR program is proactive. I feel more energized, able to better focus on things, and I like to hang out with friends. And above all of that, I value every moment of my life now. AR has many benefits. Such benefits include that it predicts and prevents depression. It monitors progress in an individual. It is not invasive, has no side effects, and provides a real-time analysis in a shorter amount of time, which can be useful to psychologists. We have compared AR to numerous competitors, and we can confidently say that AR will dominate the market with its unique ability to predict and prevent depression. AR has many features that make it stand out from the crowd. Such features include the peer-to-peer -peer feedback system, the alerts to parents and guardians, and smart suggestions, not available to the rest. And now Mustafa will talk about the business plan. Our business plan. 
As part of our marketing strategy, we want to create awareness of the issue and to promote our app. Now, how do we plan to do this? Through social media, blogs, and advertisements, etc. We know that mental illness is a global issue affecting veterans, astronauts, and students. So that's why we believe that the government will support us and therefore will approach them for contracts. Apart from the government contracts, we will also approach hospitals, pharmacies, and schools for pre-orders to start to manufacture our product at a larger scale. We also would like to commercialize our product by working with companies such as Apple, Samsung, and Fitbit. Now let's talk money. As I mentioned before, there are more than 450 million people suffering from mental illnesses worldwide. Although we want AR to reach everyone, even if we target 10%, let's see what the numbers come up to be. We did the math, and our manufacturing cost of the AR watch came up to be $68. And for the AR band, it came up to be $39. With a sale of $170 per watch and $99 per band, if we sold 45 million units of both the band and watch combined together, our estimated profit would come up to be $4 billion. We expect our product to become popular and business to grow. As part of a business strategy, we'll analyze our sales and our combined market conditions to make appropriate changes annually, annually and to take our business to the next level. Mental illnesses are on the rise, and access to care is rapidly dwindling. Why don't you feel that there's no hope? Just understand. That's the mental illness. In the time that we presented, AI could have processed half a million piggy banks and Whoa. saved many lives around the world. It's always better to prevent a problem in its early stages. Like Benjamin Franklin once said, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Thank, Thank you. you. Great presentation. I like when you dealt with each and every aspect of the problem in such detail. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you for the presentation too. Um, mental illness in girls is higher than in boys. Um, you may want to think about just designing a more attractive band to get people to wear it. But for <laughs> As you go forward, it would be very good to hear personally why you got interested in that particular problem, which is very, very, very important. So I want to thank you for that. Thank you. Unlike a lot of the presentation, yours is uh, science-based, and about three slides explaining the hormone view of depression would really help those people that don't really have much exposure to that understand why this is functional and why it will work year after year. I think this is a great thing to do. And you guys should really keep pursuing that. I like the focus on proactive problem solving and identifying that a lot of what we do now is reactive. I think that's very strong. Uh, other, you know, the, identifying the physiologic uh, correlations of depression or hormone imbalances are documented. But really understanding the science there, I, I think we're still getting there with the science. So I think. Uh, you guys stay adept and on top of the sciences, you guys move your product along, uh, you hopefully they will go hand in hand there. I do know that uh, with PTSD, a lot of the physiological uh, signs that can be recognized will also be helpful. So I think there's also a lot of uh, other marketing opportunities for you. Good job. Thank you.